pressure to ask to put on any one person, but it's going to be on Jan. Lenny Dawson has gone over to talk to Hank Stram, but the whole pressure of uh, and a lot of money is riding on Jan's foot. Stenerud, who made the American Conference All-Star team, even though he was the second scorer to Gary Yepremi of Miami, considered by many to be the best money kicker in the game. One big reason why he's on the team, the man who can really come through in the clutch. Jan is really being called on for the biggest one now in his career. The kick will come from about 31 yards. Dawson holding. The flag hangs limp with the pole, no wind to speak of. They're asking for an extra yard, they'll mark it at the 32. Almost a straight angle, just off center to the right. 24-24. The kick is in the air. And it is. Toss the coin again. And I might also point out that the Chiefs did not punt in the regulation football game. No punts by Gerald Wilson. The premium from his own 35. This is a low one, a line drive, and it comes to Buck Buchanan, a lateral to Cota Lack of the 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, outside, gets away from one man, 40, 45. Heady move by the veteran, 31-year-old Buck Buchanan as he caught that football in the air and lateral to Podolak. The first team to score wins, 24 to 24. We're in sudden death. Dick Carlson bringing you play-by-play -play with Bill Grigby. Championship football. Tight eye formation, Dawson back. Loops it out, the screen to Podolak, a block from Buddy. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line of the Miami Dolphins, and he's bumped down there. Nick Guadacani making the stop. Mark it at the 46-yard line of Miami. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, the loss was for a yard, and the Dolphins declined the penalty. The ball's at the 43. You might talk about that. They could have been at least out of field goal range for Kansas City. Elbow right, wide left. Otis Tater, wide right. Sudden death from Municipal Stadium. Handoff, Kodalak, option, sweeping right, wants to run. 40, down to the 38, the 37, maybe the 36-yard line. Short of the first down by four or five yards, the tackle made by Doug Swift, the linebacker on that side for the Dolphins. The football between the 36 and the 37-yard line. The Chiefs are moving into the win. John may have another shot at it, though, Dick. Third down and about four and a half to go as we're in overtime with 12 minutes, 18 seconds left in the fifth period. Double right, wide left, Peter wide right, hand off, total axe, sweeping right, has a block, cuts inside of Buddy's block, loses the football at the 35. And it is Kansas City's football, I believe. The preliminary indication was Chiefs football. The Chiefs own the football. At the Miami 35-yard line, the first indication from Bill Stanfield, the defensive end, was the Dolphins got it. But I believe Ed Buddy, the guard, who was out there as a pulling blocker, fell on the football. That's right. Somebody did with the red uniform on. That's a blessing. Fourth down. The ball at the 35. Jan will try one from the 42. This is a winning field goal attempt from the 42 to the far half. Into a slight win. Center root with Dawson holding. The snap, the place, the kick is blocked. And it comes down to the 25-yard line. Lynch is there to cover it the 23, the 22 and a half. And the Dolphins will get the football at their own 22 and a half. And I believe that, again, it was Lloyd Mumford who came in and got a hand in the football. By Aaron Brown. He got a hand in the football. It's an incomplete pass, third down and six. Big third down play, Dick. This is vitally important to keep the Miami Dolphins on their side of the 50-yard line because both of these boys can kick the long ball. Power Twilly wide right, Warfield wide left, third and six. A very big play. Greasy back to throw. Twilly, a slant, complete the 50-yard line. 
tackled by Jim Marsalis at the 49, and Greasy was really slammed. Then he slammed 49, and he's slow to get up. But it's a big, big first down for the Dolphins. Greasy's hurt the left side of his... It is second and ten at the Kansas City. 48, fully wide right, Warfield wide left. Hit the off, Warfield on the slant, and the reverse tackle. on the field level where Jarrell Wilson has to kick the football it might be a little bit of a factor well let's uh, all pull for old Jarrell now I hope he has that leg limbered up because we really need a long high one here Jake Scott the deep man Dick Anderson is the short man in punt formation to receive from Jarrell Wilson at his own 15 yard line big big booming wobbling spiral Jake Scott 22 yard line he'll run it back to the right to 30 the 35 tripped up and down. As he gets out to about the 38-yard line, the man to get him was Ed Laufemer. And in case you're interested, 528 remaining in the sudden death overtime period. Funny goes wide to the left. Warfield is in the slot. Dick and Sonka side by side, the running backs and plumbing the tight end right. And even front, handoff, Sonka, left tackle, runs into a wall at the 43 and makes his way out to the 44-yard line, but he ran right in to Buck Buchanan. All the way to the 45, a two-yard gain, third down and four. Another big third down play. Really wide right in Warfield is split left. Jim manages in at tight end on the right side. Kick almost a wing back left, third down and four. Very, very big play. Long count, Greasy wants to throw. Willie, the receiver intended, he has the football in a comeback pattern. At the Kansas City 46. First down, Miami Dolphins. Willie and I watched him all the way. Was moving one-on-one -on -one with Marsalis. Started the down and out pattern, then stopped and came back from about the 44 out to the 47. Caught the football at his knees and fell down there where Marsalis found him. Howard 20 wide right and Paul Warfield is wide left. Fleming back in as a tight end on the right side. Greasy back wants to throw on first down. Look for Warfield. Time count. Looking deep. Incomplete. Incomplete. And that time, Emmett Thomas had Warfield covered step for step and had the inside out. Hit him first at the 48. And then it was the man to get him down, Buck Buchanan, who rode him down at the 45 along with Curly Culp. It'll be third down and about nine yards to go for the first down. Only wide right and Warfield is in the slot. Mandich, the tight end, is on the left. Third and nine for the Chief 45. Greasy, rolling right, stop, rolls under pressure for Warfield. It's incomplete. Defended by Emmett Thomas at the 40 yard line. Emmett Thomas, a very big play. Yes, congratulations from Jim Marcellus and Kerry Reardon. If Permian is on the field and they will go for it. Oh, my. It is a 52 yard field goal. From the far hat, win virtually no factor. Hold on to your hat, everybody. Carl Noonan is the holder. The crowd on its feet, making a little noise. A great rush. The kick by Ukrainian is in the air. It is no good. It is wide to the left side. It was short and wide. To the left side, McVeigh oh, decided not to run it out. I don't know <laughs> whether we can make it or not. Two minutes and 39 seconds left in the fifth period. The Chiefs have the football again. Another shot at them. The ball is on the Kansas City 20. Jan Stenerud missed one. Right at the end of regulation play that would have given the Chiefs a win. Jan Stenerud had one blocked in sudden death. And now... With Mike Oriard back at center in place of an injured Jack Rutney, Yepremian has missed his, and the handoff is the photo act sweeping right. 
across the 20 and about the 20 and a half as he's caught from behind and he's down. Jack Rudney is in. Mike Oriard is not back in the game. Rudney, who was shaken up, taken out of the game. Oriard played a series at center and then Rudney came back in. Dawson in the ball game. 15 completions out of 22 attempts for 181 yards. And Bob Greasy with 20 out of 32 for 124 yards. Greasy has been intercepted twice and Dawson intercepted once. Elbow right, wide left. Otis Tater is in the slot. Play action fake photo act. Dawson rolls left, has time, throwing up the middle, elbow right, complete, across the 40, the 45, hit from behind and down at the 46-yard line by Curtis Johnson, first down Kansas City, and elbow right again has come up with a big catch. He certainly did, and he was shaken up a little bit, I think, when he was hit from behind, but he wants to stay in. Dave Hill thought he ought to go out. A great catch by Elmo, a good move, and now the Chiefs in business at their 46, first down. And we're approaching the end of the first sudden death quarter, a minute 14 to play. Should it end without a score, the Chiefs will go to the other end of the field and move with the wind behind them. A 24-24 tie in sudden death at Municipal Stadium, Kansas City. Elbow right, wide left, go to Tater in the slot, handoff Hayes on the draw, across midfield, into Dolphin territory at the 49. The tackle made by Bob Hanks, the defensive tackle. Good game, second down and five. The clock continues to move with 42 to play in the sudden death. I'll tell you, I don't know how a man can be a coach in this business. It's, it's tough enough to be a broadcaster and a fan, but to be a coach and go through this agony, 30 seconds left to go in the fifth period. Elmo Wright has three catches for 103 yards in the football game. Dawson back, quick count, wants the throw. The ball's batted down at the line of scrimmage. And the man to get it was Bob Heinz, the defensive tackle, so it'll be third and five. Important third down play coming up now for both the Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins. And you need some more yardage because the ball at the 50, it's a little bit out of field goal range. You'd be kicking into the wind anyway. So now you can figure that Dawson will throw again with third and six. Elmo right, wide left on third and five at the 50, and Otis Taylor in the slot, quick count. Dawson has a little time, wants to throw, does, intercepted! Intercepted 35 to the 40, the 45, and down there by Otis Taylor. And I believe that it was Jake Scott, the free safety who made the interception in front of Elmo Wright, the intended receiver at the 25, and now the Dolphins have the football at their own 45, 14 seconds to play in the first sudden death period. Oh! Of course, in a game like this, it's so easy to make understatements, Bill, but this by far one of the greatest football games ever witnessed in the history of professional football. Understatement. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding. It's first down on the 45, and that's the end of the fifth period. And for the benefit of you folks listening in and driving along, there's nothing wrong with you. We have finished five periods of play. We're going into the sixth. It's overtime in Municipal Stadium in Kansas City, where it's 24 to 20. 45 of Miami as we open period number six. 24 to 24. A tie game in sudden death. First team to score wins. Hand off. The Sanka up the middle, tripped up after he gets a gain of two or three. But the man to get him was Curly Culp, and what a game Curly Culp has been playing. Well, the announcement just made, this is only the second time in history a game has gone into a second sudden death overtime, and the Chiefs have been in both of them. The other time in 1962 in a championship game when the then Dallas Texans beat the Houston Oilers. Greasy rolling left, second and eight, throws on the run, incomplete. Intended for Paul Warfield at the Kansas City 30. And he was a step in front of Emmett Thomas, but Greasy having the throw on the run under great pressure from Buck Buchanan was able to get the ball away, but not accurately. 50,374 fans at Municipal Stadium and a press entourage of several hundred here to see this one. 
Warfield wide left, Willie wide right. Managed the tight end right. Third down and eight. Greasy, a little time. Being pressured by Aaron Brown. Scrambling at the 30. Rolling left. Stop. Wants to throw long. He does. Looking for Mendes. It is incomplete at the seven-yard line. Right in front of the right in front of the groundskeeper, George Toma, I might add. And in front of two officials, and I oh, I was afraid for a moment there might be a uh, an infraction on the play that was not. It's fourth down. We're going to get the ball back. Jim Kearney and Kerry Reardon, the two safeties, were double teaming on Mandich. And now we'll have a punt from Larry Seipel into the win. Seipel in the game has punted four times, 31, 42, 50, and 35 yards, an average of 39.5. The deep man is Podolak. Seipel kicking into the wind, stands at his own 33-yard line. Good snap to kick away. It's not a bad punt to the 15. Podolak wants to run it back. Tries to come to the near sideline. He's hit at the 15-yard line, and it goes down there. I believe the tight end, Jim Manage, is the first one to get down there. Curtis Johnson also there. 38-yard punt. And the Chiefs are on their own 15-yard line, moving this time with the wind behind them. <laughs> well, I want to say that we've been able to maintain our composure. I can't understand it. <laughs> the crowd now calling for some excitement, calling upon the offense to move the football. Otis Painter wide to the right side. Elmo right is in the slot. Willie Frazier, the tight end, line up left. Wendell Hayes and Ed Podolak, the running back. The handoff to Hayes over left guard. Gets it out to the 20-yard line. A gain of five. Good blocking out in front from Jim Tyrer and from Ed Buddy. Mark it out to the 19. A gain of four. It's second and six, and the tackle goes to Nick Wanakani. You know, Otis Taylor has managed to work himself in the open on a couple of plays uh, in the last couple of series. I wouldn't be surprised to see Lenny go deep to Otis before long. Quick count. Handoff. Podolak. Option play. Running right. He's hit. He's down at the 11-yard line. It looked like Podolak maybe had something in mind like throwing the football. Wendell Hayes was downfield along with Willie Frazier. They were being covered fairly well by Dick Anderson, the strong safety, and also by Tim Foley, the cornerback. The Dolphins are going to go with a three-man defensive front and a fourth linebacker. Prevent defense, Dawson, back at the five, wants to throw, does complete the puddle act at the 15. Gets it out to the 18, the 19, maybe the 20-yard line, but that'll be as far as he goes, and it will bring up a fourth down and about five. Nick Bonacani, along with Jim Foley, there to make the tackle. And Gerald Wilson is called on to punt for the second time. His first punt, which came in the first sudden death overtime period, was good for 52 yards. Now Gerald will have some wind at his back, and let's hope he booms one. Jake Scott at about the Miami 35, and Dickie Anderson at the 45 are the deep men for Miami. Good snap for Bobby Bell. Plenty of time. Gerald Wilson, another big kick. Wobbling spiral. Scott, fair catch at the Miami 30-yard line. And since the regulation play ended, this is the deepest Miami has been in their own territory. That's right, Dick, and what a kick by Gerald Wilson. He kicked that ball in the air a total of 40, about 70, or rather 60 yards in the air. A 50-yard punt officially, and from where he did kick the ball after the step up, was about a 60-yard punt, of course, officially a 50-yarder. And Gerald, who lost the kicking duel to Dave Lewis of Cincinnati by an average of 3.24 inches because of a poor performance on the final game of the season against Buffalo, has had a good game here in the overtime and has only two punts of the day. Warfield wide right, but he is in the slot. High formation with Sanka and Kick along Count Breezy. Pitch out to Kick, sweeping left. The block from Sanka, a little room out to the 35-yard line. It'll be a gain of about five yards, and Willie Lanier was over there to bring him down. Jim Lynch also over there to help. Five-yard gain, second down, five yards to go. It is now the longest game in pro football history. In time, it's already gone by the Houston-Dallas playoff. Well, if you look for Omens, of course, the then Dallas Texans, now Kansas City Chiefs won that one. Warfield is split left. 
Otto Stowe, wide right, handoff, big hole, Stocka, 50, 45, 40, down to the 36-yard line of the Kansas City Chiefs. Kerry Reardon made the stop on the draw, a very big hole off left tackle for Larry Stocka. First down, Miami Dolphins. This is the deepest penetration for the Dolphins in sudden death. Oh, that was a big play. It was a perfectly executed play. Nobody near him until he got into the secondary. Now you got to hope for a fumble or a mishandled football because they're definitely in range of Gary Apremian. That sock is longest carry of the year, 29. His previous high was 28 yards. He has 10 carries for 83. Warfield wide left. Otto Stowe split right. Hand off the kick, trying right tackle, a little bit of a hole. He runs right into Buck Buchanan, who wraps him up after a yard or two gain, down to about the 33. Second and eight from the 34-yard line. 24 to 24 in sudden death overtime. The defenses are getting a tremendous workout in this one. Gary Apremian pacing up the sideline in front of the Miami Dolphin bench. Warfield is wide left, Otto Stoll, the rookie from Iowa State, split right. Handoff, Saka, right tackle, the hole closes in a hurry as Willie Lanier is over there to wrap him up by the knees as he gets it down to the 31, maybe the 30-yard line. The official there very quickly to spot the football, short of the 30, it's third down, four and a half yards to go, almost five. Well, if you had a choice now, you'd really ask for a fumble. With the ball at the 31-yard line, third down, five yards to go. Your premium uh, definitely can kick them in from here. However, there is, I feel a little breeze coming in. I hope it turns into a gale in the next couple of seconds. The wind is beginning to kick up into the face of the Dolphins. Warfield is split left and Otto Stowe is split right. Third and four and a half from the 30 and a half of Kansas City. Handoff, kick wrapped up by Jim Lynch at the 30 yard line. Lynch, who read the play beautifully, came in from right side linebacker and met kick at the 30. So it's fourth and four. And here comes little Gary Apremian, the smallest man in professional football. And Gary Apremian has a lot riding on this one. Carl Noonan will hold. The attempt will be a 37-yarder right down the middle as Kick ran it up the middle to get the field position for Apremian. 11 men up front, nobody back. The pressure will be on. The snap, Kick is in the air. And it is good! And the Miami Dolphins have won in sudden death overtime, eliminating the Kansas City Chiefs. From the playoffs, the Chiefs in a bid for another Super Bowl title have fallen in the second sudden death overtime. Seven minutes and 20 seconds remained in the second uh, sudden death. That means seven minutes and 40 seconds had been played. The field goal for 37 yards by Gero Yepremian ends it all. And the final score is the Miami Dolphins 24 and the or 27 and the Kansas City Chiefs 24. The Dolphins who fell short of a try in the playoffs last year by losing to the Oakland Raiders in the first game of the playoffs have come back this year to beat the Kansas City Chiefs, another Western Division opponent in the first game, a tremendous football game, played extremely well by both teams, both teams with numerous opportunities to win, and it was a 37-yard field goal by the young Cypress place kicker, Gary Yepremian, that has won it for the Miami Dolphins. And so, the Miami Dolphins now will wait for the outcome of that game tomorrow between the Baltimore Colts and the Cleveland Browns.